Hi everybody, Liz and Sherry here. We've had a lot of requests for paper piecing, so coming in January we're going to have a paper piecing class, but we're here today to show you our new Martelli ruler. It's Martelli's paper piecing ruler. When you're paper piecing, Sherry's going to be demonstrating in a minute, it will add a quarter inch to your uh, block as you're sewing it. Sherry's going to demonstrate some paper piecing for you all and show you how it's done, and then we hope that you will join us for our class of making, this is a small little thing I made, and it shows you the paper piecing, you get sharp points with paper piecing. We have the little uh, small pineapple block. We have pineapple blocks, there's all kind of blocks you can do with paper piecing, it's so much fun. But we want to demonstrate our ruler today and show you what it's able to do. We have our uh, paper piecing um, paper here, and use... Um, Carol Duck. Carol uh, Duck. Carol Doak's um, paper. It's real thin paper so that you could you could sew through it. You're going to sew through the, the paper. So I've got my first one sewn. Lay that down. And I use cardstock as a, as a ruler to uh, to fold that line, make me a crease line. Then I'll come in here with my Martelli's at a paper piece, paper piecing at a quarter. Take my rotary cutter. And then I'll take my uh, material that I'm going to add onto this other, other section of this, this flying geese right here. So I'll line it up. Set it down right there on that. Open it back up, and I'll sew on this line. And make sure you you back stitch on both sides. What the ruler does, it gives you your quarter inch for your quilt block. So when you're done and you peel off all the paper, you have your exact quarter inch. So your block will come out the proper size. But that's how you do paper piecing. All right, everybody, we want to show you why we think Martelli's paper piecing ruler is going to be superb. In the first place, on the back, we have our grip. It does not slide. So when you're laying it on your paper piece item and you're cutting, it doesn't move, just like all the other templates. And that's going to really help to get your accurate quarter inch seam on your paper piecing. Sherry's demonstrating how you put it on there, and you'll slice, and it never moves and you've got your exact quarter inch seam for your block. And then you'll open it up again, add your other piece, and we'll continue. I really think this is going to be a big seller. You know, there is a lot of other rulers out there that do the same thing, but this does not slip. And Sherry's going to show you another piece. We're going to go sew this, sew this on the line, make sure you back, back stitch. In our class that's coming up in January, we're going to show you how to paper piece and how to use this ruler. It's really very simple. You'll catch on really quick for people who have never paper pieced before. And the ones who have, they're going to love this because of the non-slip grip. Yeah. I'm going to sew right on that line. We'll let Sherry sew that and then we'll come back and use our ruler again. I backstitched at the beginning of this line and I've set my uh, machine at uh, 150 or 175. You have to have a short um, sew stitch so that it will, um, you can, when you rip off the papers, because after you get, get this all sewn up, you rip off the papers and it's easy, much easier to rip off your papers. You can either use real thin paper, like newsprint paper, or you can use uh, regular notebook or uh, copy paper, but you have to sort, shorten your stitch, stitch length. You sew right on the line. This gives you uh, very perfect. Um, and now I'm going to back up. And I'm going to cut my threads. So we're going to go back over here to the cutting table. You could use a postcard or cardstock, anything a little bit sturdy. So when you put it on the line, it's going to hold as you're paper piecing, and it won't move. You'll get iron, that sharp. Iron that down. Okay, so we're going to we're going to our next next flying geese. 
which is this one right here. So you'll go one, two, three, four. You do paper piece and you do it in a order. You start with a one, two, three, and you keep going up for how many you need. So my next line is gonna be this one right here. That's the one I'm gonna slow on, okay. so on. Okay, so I use, I use cardstock to give me a nice clean edge. And I'll lay my cardstock down. I'll fold my paper back. That's going to give you a nice clean edge. You set your new Martelli ruler down. This ruler has a lip on it. You can see the lip right here and it catches onto the corner, the edge of your paper so it doesn't move. So you get a so nice clean I can't cut. move it this way or that way. That's, that's what you're, not, you're wanting. You're wanting it not to slip because you need that up tight against your cardstock. You make your cut. You got your perfect quarter inch. And then you continue to add your okay. next fabric. Now, now that I've got that cut, my next fabric's this orange one. I'm going to set it on that line, but it's going to cover this whole triangle. There's a little waste in paper piecing, but you have to make them big enough to cover the whole area and get your quarter inch seam. But paper piecing will give you precise points, beautiful points. So now I'm going to go over there to, and sew on this, sew this here down. I'm going to drop my needle down right on that line, right on the edge. And I'm going to sew about two stitches. Then I'm going to back up and lock my stitches in. And then sew right down that line. So after after you the reason why I lock my stitches in because I'm doing all this paper piecing I don't want it, anything to come undone. Go right to the edge. Okay, so I'm gonna iron this. I'm gonna lock my stitches in. I'm going to iron this down. I've run into a lot of people that don't know when you iron your stitches first before you turn it over, it keeps that stretching or pulling from the stitch. It really locks them in. So my next piece, so that's four, that's five. So my next piece is five. I'm going to set this down like this. Set my new ruler down. Lock it up, it gets to it because you've got that little edge. Take your rotary cutter and you cut it off. And that's your one fourth from the edge. You'll set your new piece of material down and keep going and going until you're finished that whole piece of paper. And then you'll have flying geese because you're always doing it on backwards. We have some blocks here we can show you like how she started and how you continue. And you just continue on until you get the whole block done. And at the same time, you're cutting as you go and getting your quarter inch. And then when you're done, you got some beautiful points in there. I think this ruler is going to be amazing. I love the non-slip grip on it. I've tried other rulers. They slip. You kind of cut wrong, and it screws your block up. Um, I hope you join us for the paper piecing class or watch our tutorial and try it. And I hope you call in, order one, come in the store. We'll be happy to show you, work with you. This is just, I think, a fantastic ruler, yeah. don't you? Yeah, well, it works. Like, it works quite well. Mm -hmm. Gives you your precise points, your price, and it's it's scene. it's long enough to where you you have if you have a lot lots of um, points, lots of uh, material, it's long enough that you can slice and cut the whole mm -hmm. thing off. And it's great for carrying for classes, lightweight, short, small, not heavy. Just throw it in your bag, yeah, but. This is going to be a number one ruler, I think. Yeah. I really do. It's a really For paper good ruler. pieces. I really do. And I hope you try it.